yo what is going on guys it's your boy Cecil here bringing guys yet another video here today bringing guys a photoshop tutorial on how to create your own fun simplistic black background styled banner design simplistic in there twice because i'm gonna go ahead and go for it however uh the video concept idea someone i believe commented on my uh simplistic clean gradient background tutorial where it was like the blue and the circle and cool like kind of music thing going on there someone was like yo can you make a simplistic one about just kind of focusing on the color black and so i came up with this concept it's a very cool simple very easy concept to think about but also looks very stylish looks really good and i feel like you guys would really really I uh, highly enjoy it. So, of course, it's pretty much a foreground color, or excuse me, a background color of black, of course, right? Where you can kind of see the same exact pattern that I have in the foreground, most likely, like, blurred out in the background that was, you know, intentional and stuff, so I didn't want to just leave it completely just black and boring. I um, also have a focus light on the top, uh, very simple text. Uh, right here, I have, like, sort of like a pattern. I, I used a stock from Google. I typed in abstract uh, backgrounds or whatever. Got this. I did this thing. Do you guys remember this? I don't know if you guys remember or if you guys are a part of the uh, de design community when you used to be able to actually click on your YouTube banner and actually, like, click on links that way besides just having, like, the cool little links that they did on, like, the top or the bottom right of your YouTube now. Um, pretty cool. I used to do this a lot. It's, like, almost, like, in a way to kind of make indentions. It's how we used to, it's how we used to make uh, your link boxes back then, and it looks really good. I really high, like, uh, highly suggest you guys to put it inside the concept here today. You could even, like, you know, go go hard with it. Even make this your link box. Who the hell knows? And have, like, your social media stuff down there. So, either way, guys, 200 likes on the video. It goes a secret down below. And the past two videos, I don't know what's going on. I'm not questioning it, but I love it so very much. The support really, it's 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 really dope. I really, I feel like I need to put out greater, better content. And it's really dope. So, I've been getting, like, 300 likes every single video now. I don't know if this is a new thing. I'm down if it is. And thank you guys so much for 66k subscribers. And I'm done talking. So let's go ahead and this, let's get this thing going. All right. <laughs> so the background color that we start off with is the hex code 090A0C. It's, it's kind of close to like a blackish blue in a way. It's not entirely black. It's not a really a blue tone. It's sort of like a, you know, like a, it's a black, but you know, and not actually black and it just looks good. So we're going to go ahead and continue. So the first thing I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to press, uh, of course, new layer here. And the first thing I'm going to go ahead and do is just this little, little bar down here. We're going to focus on the bar the entire way for this first part of the tutorial. And so pretty much I'm going to use the rectangle marquee tool as you guys just saw me do. Click on the left hand side, go ahead and just click and drag to the right hand side and create your nice little simple box here. Now in this box we're filling this color in with the hex code 17181B. That's the hex code that I'm going to fill this one in so I can just press control backspace since this is in my foreground color not my background color. And I'm going to control D to deselect and I'm going to hide my rulers once again. Now with this box here the first thing I'm going to actually I'm going to call this We'll call this the pattern box because we can put any pattern, we can put any picture in it, whatever the heck you guys want to do. We're just going to call it the pattern box to save, you know, face or whatever. So the first thing I'm going to do is make a new layer and go ahead and clip mask this layer into here. And we're going to simply just kind of sort of guess where halfway is, right? I'm going to say this is pretty much where halfway is uh, between this, this box here, you know? And so I'm going to change my foreground color to white. Press OK. Alt Backspace. And then I'm going to go ahead and just change this blend mode to overlay, lower my opacity down. And we're going to say that is pretty good. I'll say 21 opacity looks pretty good for me on a white on the uh, clip mask to my, my pattern box here. And I believe at this moment I can go ahead and if I really want to, I don't know, I don't even mind just throwing in the actual pattern that I have here. If you guys want this, it'll probably be in the secret download as well. So just don't forget to leave a like and all that cool stuff. And we're going to go ahead and just clip mask this. And whatever you guys kind of put on your little pattern box or whatever, you can just put it on luminosity and then lower your opacity down just like so. And pretty much that will be that. We're going to put this below the white box though. And now I'm going to show you guys how to do this simple little, like the little, uh, how do you call it? This little part, right? This little thing here. It's very, very easy. It's not too hard whatsoever. The first thing you're going to do is we're going to make a new layer really quickly. And we're going to go ahead and zoom in. And we're going to see where we have here. We have here. Now you can do two things. I, I suggest doing this actually. I suggest using the marquee tool in a new layer here, making a very, very skinny marquee tool. Like almost two centimeters, like you see where it says the H right above my cursor, almost two centimeters thick, or excuse me, wide. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna control T to free transform it, or if we can't, just press M on your keyboard, right click on it, transform selection, and then rotate it just like so. I'm gonna press enter, press my M key again, move it down, and I'm gonna fill this color in with, uh, 
We'll fill it in with the same black or blue over here, or excuse me, the gray over here. Same thing we used for our, pat our actual pattern box in the first place. And if I want to, I can control U. You can see it right here, it's not quite dark enough yet. Control U to bring up your hue and saturation and just lower down your lightness just a bit more. And I'll say that is pretty good. Now I'm gonna go ahead and just hold Alt, hold Shift while I'm selected on that same layer. Drag it over, it's gonna make me a nice little duplicate for me. Control T to free transform, right click, and then flip horizontal. I like my shortcuts, you guys should know by now. Uh, at least all of them, <laughs> because I do them every single time. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and just move this over. I'll say, what, 75 centimeters to the right, or to the left, excuse me. I'm gonna do the same thing on the right hand side. Uh, match that, 75. And pretty much, I can actually move it a little bit more. Let's move it like 20 more on the outsides. There we go. Now we have our two kind of uh, grayish lines going on here. I'm gonna merge these two things together. I'm gonna use my hue and saturation again to lower this just a little bit more darker. I think that'll be good. And we're gonna just take our marquee tool once again and sort of just kind of erase the everything that's on the top. So kind of just uh, select everything besides your box, select on your layer, and then press delete on your keyboard. That way these lines here will then disappear. And we're just gonna call these the, we're gonna call this lines, sure. And we're gonna, what is this? This is the half box or whatever. Or, yeah, we'll just call it the highlight. We'll call it highlight, just so you guys know. All right, cool. So on these uh, on these lines, below this layer, we're gonna make another layer, excuse me, and throw it below this layer. Take our pen tool here. We're gonna zoom in. As you can see, I didn't go far down. So before I do that, before I actually delete it, let's go ahead and just throw it down one time, right? We're gonna quickly use our move tool and just use the arrow keys down. And then I'll really quickly do the marquee tool thing again, just like so. And then we'll change this again to lines. And then we'll change this to H highlight. And then, okay, new layer below this, right? Take our pen tool here. Zoom in pretty close in. I'll say, do something around, like click somewhere close to the left-hand side of your first kind of, uh, your first line here. Hold shift to make a straight line. And you wanna click all the way up here, right to the corner. And then just pretty much click right back in uh, from where you started. So this should only be three simple clicks. And then you want to basically fill this layer in with the color white. So we're going to drop down, use color white, press OK, delete the path. And then before I do anything, I'm just going to change this layer mode from normal to overlay. I'm going to say to myself, does that look good? Do I like that? I do like that. Perfect. I'll, I'll stay with that. And we're just going to hold Alt and Shift again, drag it over, flip it horizontally because we're going to have to put it on the other side as well. And we're going to sort of match this. I'm just going to look at the top and see where it intersects. And that works for me. It looks good. And pretty much that is that. So we're going to group these things together. And we're going to call this D indentions. And then, oh, God, spelling. Oh, no. OK, we're just going to call that. Um, yeah, shadows. Why not? All right. So right before that, we're almost done with this box. We're pretty much done with it. However, we're going to make another new layer. And we're going to use our marketing tool once again. And we're going to go ahead and just select the entire box once again. Or what you could have done if you probably thought about it was a hold control and select on your pattern box thumbnail just like so. And it selects it just like that, right? And I'm going to fill this in with any color. It does not matter. So you can hold alt backspace to fill it in with any color or right click fill it in with any color. It doesn't matter whatsoever because the color does not matter. Because what you're going to do is you're going to lower your fill all the way down to zero. If you guys do not know what lowering your fill down to zero does, it's basically like your opacity of your image that's what opacity is it's your opacity of the overall image including your effects that are on the layer style as well however your fill is only focused on lowering the opacity on what you're being seen and will not actually get rid of the layer style so if i wanted to go and add in an inner glow like i'm going to make this color white and throw this blend mode from screen to overlay and i'm gonna just press ok and i'm gonna get rid of these rulers so you can see the bat the kind of the pattern box is sort of just kind of it's just Blur, coming out a little bit more and it looks really good. I highly suggest you guys to do that as well. And I think what I'm going to go ahead and do is on these highlight things here, I'm going to go ahead and add in a brightness and contrast. Now on this brightness and contrast, I'm going to make sure I clip mask this to the actual highlight. And it's going to be basically everything, everything here is clip masked to this pattern box. So that's what I, I, I want you to do that as well. And so pretty much the settings that I have here is 80 and then my contrast is negative 10 just like so. All right. And let me just, I think it might be like, mm, no, let's just keep it 80 negative 10. Oops. All right, cool. 
Now, for now, I'm curious. It's definitely not 80, negative 10. It's negative 10, 80. God dang it. I knew that. All right, negative 10, 80. There we go. So negative 10, 80. And pretty much you're going to find yourself with a nice little... Oh, this is a little bit not dark enough yet. These two lines here, where are the lines? Boom. Make these lines a bit darker, just like so, so that they can stand out. Press OK. There we go. Now they're standing out and they're super dark. Perfect. Looks good. Now what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to actually just really quickly throw in the abstract pattern again on the background. Uh, I should probably put it in right above everything just so it doesn't do what I just did where it messed up my clean masks. Make it bigger. Throw it behind everything. Lower it to, or excuse me, change it to luminosity. Lower the opacity down. And we're going to go ahead and sort of put in our text right now. Why not? I believe the text that I had was sim plistic oh that's my new font if you guys want to go ahead and check that out it's in the description down below selfby.com slash shq totally did not mean to do that not at all i'm kidding i didn't add yeah i really didn't all right oops let's go ahead and make sure simplistic is in nice bold right boom simplistic and then we'll make banner design on the bottom correct and we'll lower this down and we're going to make this a nice blue. Let's see. Say something like that. Simplistic. Banner design. We'll lower just a little bit more. And then right above it, we'll put our nice little... Oops. Right above it, we'll put our nice little web address or whatever the heck you guys want to put in. Um, This is just... I'm just putting this for just, you know, purposes of this tutorial. Sort of kind of like making sure you guys understand how to fill the banner in this kind of style. I'm going to use next to bold for that subtext. We're going to lower this down. And we're going to make this white with that. Oops. And then throw that right there. Cool. And as you guys know, it this might look good to you. This might look good to you as well. Um, however, what I'm going to do really quickly is also, of course, add in the main kind of like thing as well, which is the little bar that goes right below. And it's going to be a colored bar. So I'm going to change my foreground to this color, the same color I use for the banner design text color. Alt backspace and then throw in my little bar of color there right and we're you can see we're pretty much done the last little final touches that I'm gonna go ahead and do is I'm gonna make a new layer above everything a nice white solid or excuse me soft brush zoom this out right and then click right above everything just like so lower the opacity down yep okay and then we're gonna add a nice little slight brightness and contrast and I'll just put it to negative 20. That's not what I put in. Negative 20 and then 20. And that's pretty dark. That's dark enough for me. And I think you're going to like this. Now, what I actually did do to actually have the uh, my example here. Let's go ahead and quickly group this and call this tutorial one. <clears throat> what I did for this one is you can see how this is like almost sort of like faded in a way. I didn't know if I like that or if I like this more. Now, it can you can be the total judge of it. Um, either way, if you guys want to know how I figured it out or kind of sort of did it, um, what I went ahead and did was, well, I'm going to go ahead and group everything. I'm going to group these. I'm going to group the background. And I'm, that's basically it. I'm going to group the background and the black background, uh, the abstract background and the black background. Control J, Control E to merge it all together. I'm going to throw that down here again. Throw that below. Actually, what we'll do is select this. Select the outside with M and then delete everything besides that. That way this can be above that. Would that work out? Probably not. Let's go ahead and just forget that. That was that was me testing something. All right, cool. So basically in this little portion here, you're going to have the background here. I'm going to throw this onto blur Gaussian blur. Nice little 5% Gaussian blur. And what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to race sort of like around the actual thing just like so and that way I kind of get like a little fade so my little uh, thing that I had so basically what I did I'm just gonna do it really quickly once again is I had my abstract my abstract layer I'm just gonna call this my pattern layer my pattern layer my black background control J to merge it together or excuse me control J to duplicate it control E to go ahead and merge together and I changed this to filter blur Gaussian blur five pixels pressed OK through this behind my pattern and so I have the pattern copy right below it. And I'm just gonna call this erase. Oh god. 
and I'm gonna take my eraser, E on my keyboard, and then just slightly erase it because right below it is that blue here. And if you just slightly erase stuff, if you want to erase it more, just click on it a couple more times. And you kind of get this nice kind of faded bluish line going through. It looks really good. I'm pretty much done with this tutorial. And I really, really highly suggest you guys to do it if you guys enjoy like the whole black color scheme thing. I hope I also nail that guy's comment down and he likes it as well. Uh, of course, guys, do not forget 200 likes on the video equals a secret down below. However, I feel like we're going to have no problems whatsoever because every single day like or every single video recently this month has just been really great. Channel's doing really good. I really help. I, I, I love you guys, okay? I said it. I get it. We love you guys. I love you guys. We all love each other. All that cool stuff. I'm going to stop talking because as you can probably tell, I'm kind of tired. It's 2 a.m. Cool. So you see the grind. You guys notice it. Thank you guys so very much. Once again, I'll talk to you guys later. Uh, don't forget to follow me on Twitter, at SysOHQ. Don't forget to try my Selfie, selfie.com slash SysOHQ for any premiums and packs as low as $1 now because that's how low my price, my font is. If you guys want to go ahead and check that out. Um, of course, like I said again, you know, just leave a like, subscribe if you guys haven't already, comment down in any tutorials you want to see me uh, see me do. And I'm going to go because I'm tired and I should probably, I should go. Love you guys. Talk to you guys later. SysOHQ out. Peace. Don't forget to keep smiling. Stay positive and stay freaking productive later.